Harvey Roberts, permanent tourist in Helsinki. Today's video is all about Cyberlink's update culture. Because um, there's been some um, new things happening that's a little bit strange. Now, two weeks ago, I posted a, a kind of a rant on, on Cyberlink's um, culture of updating constantly and, and causing a few problems and, and just really just messing things around. That we, you, uh, why are they doing that? Now, um, t two days after I posted that video, if you haven't seen the video, um, I'll, I'll drop a link down in the description below. Go check it out. Now, two days after I posted that video, Cyberlink updated again its Power Director uh, program. And of course, I updated it because <laughs> I always update so I can bring you guys all the latest <laughs> what's happening. And um, are there going to be more problems or are they fixing things? So this new update that came for Power Director, they stated that they'd um, redefined a little bit the, uh, the UI and, and made some little adjustments to the masking designer. So I thought to myself, okay, that sounds all right. They've not, they've not mentioned anything about the, uh, the background removal tool being, being kind of broken and not working. Um, so, so, of course, I updated it. And I did, as the su support team mentioned to me um, after... In, talking to them and getting some feedback. So I updated, rechecked again to see if there are any more updates and restarted. Now, I also restarted my computer just to be sure, to make sure that everything was up. And then I went back into PowerDirector to see what this new stuff was all about. So I, I created a new project, checked the background removal tool. Well, that's still broken. It still does the same rubbish that it's, it's, it's been doing. Then I went to the mask designer. It, uh, it's still horrible. I, I haven't noticed anything different. I, I, I just don't like it. It's, it, it's shit, basically. I, I, I can't find a, a, a more better word than it's just... It's, I don't like it. Only now they've put something new to the table. Lag. After three years of using Cyberlink's suite of programs, I never had lag. Now I have lag. Horrible. Every time I create a new project and I try to scrub the, the timeline along and back, it's judders and, and it's, it's, oh, it's, just, it's just horrible. Now I don't understand why they're doing this or why they keep updating just consistently. Why can't they just keep it at a three month or a four month interval and, and, bring, and bring good um, updates? rather than just throwing updates constantly and, and causing such conflict. Now, the reason for this video, of course, is that two days ago, Cyberlink brought out another update. However, it's not for the PowerDirector program. Now it's for the Cyberlink's Managing Director program, the one that you use to, to look at all your suite of programs and what updates are coming and what's new and everything else. Now, they've, they've updated this. Now, this is something that um, I've never seen before. Um, very strange. I'm quite sure what to make of it. Let's take a look. On the application manager, you go into, into your start menu here in Windows. Go to all if you're using the latest version of Windows 11 right here. Go to all. Scroll down a little bit and you'll find it right here. Cyberlink Application Manager, or just search for Cyberlink Application Manager. Open it up, and it looks like this if you've never seen it before. It looks and it checks for updates. Now you're gonna see you, you have everything available, all your effects packs in here, but this is the one that we're looking at right here, PowerDirector Suite 365 PowerDirector, this one. And look right at the side of it. They've got these other versions, it says, if I leave my mouse over it. Three dots here, right? And I click this open, and now you can see we can install earlier versions, 224, 225. How very weird is that? I'm thinking this is a problem at 226. Very strange. Now, my philosophy is that I've had um, 
Cyberlink on, on my desktop PC now for just over a year and my philosophy usually is that if something starts to get a little bit not working properly I will just save all my work, delete the whole thing from the computer, all Cyberlink stuff and then do a, a fresh re reinstall because I usually find that when something gets updated consistently like this all the time you, you kind of get redundant files or ghost code that kind of just keeps messing around with constant updating. Um, uh, so I, I, I kind of feel that maybe that might be a, a, um, a way to go and, and, and see if it, it brings back the, the functionality back from on Cyberlink's power director because the lag is just horrible, I have to tell you. Um, so yeah, this is my rant um, for today. Drop me comments on, on, on your thoughts on, on what's happening here at the moment, but absolutely looking forward to the new updates and, and seeing what's happening. But if you have a problem with the update, go check out the managing software part, the, the way you can alter it, and, and go and see if you, you want to roll back to one of the previous versions. Now, there's only two in there, the four and the five, I think. Um, so... Um, if you're having problems, try those, go roll it back, see what, you can, what, what happens. I'm not going to roll back. I'm going to keep going until it actually breaks altogether. <laughs> I, I just think it's funny. And, and, uh, but I have never seen this before. It, very, very weird thing. Um, I'm not sure what Cyberlink's idea is with this. Very strange. That's my rant for today. Have a great day. Stay safe, people.